the president has just finished, uh, sort of won a big political battle in his campaign for good governance with the impeachment trial. Do you think this will actually have a real effect? Um, sure. And how? Well, it's more of the, the institutions, you know, the institutions affect the economy in, in various ways. Uh, it affects the per perceptions of uh, uh, how things are done in, in the country. If you are perceived to be a corrupt country, you know, who would want to come, uh, to come with you when, when there are many other opportunities out there? There are many, you know, the Vietnamese, the Indonesians, the Chinese, and there are many places to go. Uh, why, why would you want to go in a country that's perceived to be corrupt, have very weak institutions, where peace and order problem? It's a, you know, so it, 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 we, we, with a leadership line that has this problem, you, you, can, you can be wrong. Uh, you can be wrong. And I think that it, it's sending the signal that, yeah, you know, um, uh, no question is above the law. You, you need to. Uh, uh, and that's in the end should filter down into the way you conduct business, because of doing business should be the rules, as corruption is the rules, as, you know. So uh, it's not very direct, but it, 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 it builds over time. If you can sustain those, the reform, it's just like what happened in Indonesia. Uh, the, initially, uh, President S. B. Y. introduced this reform. Initially, they were quite slow, but. He, he, he persisted, and uh, what happened? Uh, Indonesia became the darling investors. Uh, so much inflow uh, investors came into Indonesia because of this signals that you know we have a government that doesn't. There is still corruption there, no problem. But it, it, it's a uh, it's the it's the confidence that the government is addressing and is serious about addressing corruption.